What's up, guys? Um, I know it's been a little while since I posted a video. Uh, you know, it was summertime here in Toronto. I had a toxic job leading up to summer that I had to quit and get onto another job and do a bunch of onboarding. And, you know, all that affects the mental health a little bit and lack of motivation. Anyways, I'll talk about all that stuff a little more in uh, some future videos. Today is just a quick video. I'm gonna do some clones and I've got one cup that I've left lying around for long enough for it to grow a mushroom inside of it, um, which I'm going to uh, transfer a couple of slices of that into some fresh agar, as well as I'm gonna do two cups for each one of these mushrooms as a clone. Um, I've been growing this strain for a while now and I just had four tubs that came in larger and fuller than I've ever had um, from this is from cloning it multiple times, trying to get some, uh, some really strong genetics. So I've picked out uh, three different style of mushrooms from the same batch. I think uh, each one is from a different tub, uh, three out of the four tubs anyways. All right, so just gonna do a quick sterilize. Now I did see a trick. Uh, most people you'll see using a small little knife or scalpel to do their cloning. I saw in one guy's video, and I'm sorry, I can't give you credit because I can't remember off the top of my head who it was, but he used a tweezer because it is very difficult to um, cut a small piece of tissue from inside of the mushroom with a knife and then and get it up out of there. It wants to really uh, stick there by its fine little hairs. Uh, so I find that he was absolutely right in just a tweezers and you just pluck away a small little piece. So that's what we're gonna do today. All right, so first I've already sterilized all these cups. So first off, I'm gonna go for this guy. I'm calling him PE25. So I'm just gonna break right into the middle there. And just grab out that fresh tissue. Grab out one more. Now what this is going to do is give me the specific DNA of this actual mushroom. And the next batch should grow much like it, uh, hopefully larger than the last one. We'll see if that gets contaminated. I had to touch it with my finger. Uh, I'm gonna sterilize this quick, even though this is the st same strain of mushroom. And now we're gonna do PE26. Same idea going to break into the middle of this solid. This guy's solid. The other one, sometimes this happens. You can see this one was hollow inside, whereas this one is just solid straight through. That's why I picked a few different styles. One was taller, one was thicker. And now we'll do one more. Now when it comes to cloning, you can uh, go grab any mushroom you want from a grocery store, uh, from anywhere really, and, um, and just take a piece of tissue out of it and put it into some agar. And you're well on your way. Okay, for the last one, I will need my knife. This agar has been sitting around since June 21st, almost two months. Again, I really haven't been on top of much these days. I'm trying to get back into it here again. I mean, you can see this one actually grew a mushroom right inside the cup. There's a bunch of little nodules that have formed on the surface. So I'm trying to cut out a couple pieces that don't 
have any of that attached to it. Several days later. All right, guys, so it's been 10 days since I did these clones. And as you can see, all these cups are fully colonized. Uh, the reason I do two, anytime I'm doing a transfer, whether it's agar to agar or cloning to agar, I always do two. Uh, the reason I do two is because sometimes you get something like this. So the other one from that mushroom is fully colonized. So I always do two, just in case one doesn't turn out. Um, good rule of thumb. All right, guys, I'm gonna wrap the video up here. I'm just going to be taking a good spot from each of these cups, transferring it into a fresh agar cup, and then I'm going to put all of these cups, or what's remaining in these cups after the transfer into grain bags and I'm gonna grow it out. Hopefully we're gonna see large full flushes, much like the mushrooms I did these clones from. Make sure to like and subscribe. Appreciate you watching. Check me out in the next video and make sure to keep an eye out to see if we get the results we're looking for here.